What is going on guys? Today we're going to have a quick look at the HLG Slate 3 Triple Heatsink. This is one of the newer heatsinks from HLG and it's a really nice little form factor for people who are looking to squeeze a little bit more light into a smaller space. So if you've got something like a 2x3 or a 3x3, this is a, a good way to go actually. Overall it's about 3 feet by 8 inches and it will take either 3 QB 288s or 3 QB 304s, both will fit. And overall it's rated for 320 watts of power. The thing is very smooth, uh, it looks quite similar to the Slate 1 actually, it's got that nice blue anodized look to it, and very low profile, the fins are quite small on this thing in comparison to something like the Slate 2 where they're much more pronounced. To check on thermal performance of this board, I let it run for about an hour at max power, so 320 watts, and then I took measurements on top and on the actual quantum boards themselves. On the top of the heatsink, I was seeing about 71 and a half degrees Celsius as the hottest it got. It kind of peaked there at about half an hour. And then looking on the bottom, like pointing right into the middle of one of the quantum boards, it was only a few degrees higher, around 74 or 75 degrees. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I think the optimal use case for this heatsink would be an instance where you've got something like a 3x2 or a 3x3 space. Obviously, 3 feet is going to be your minimum because the length of the heatsink is 3 feet, so you can't squeeze this into a 2x2 or something. But in a 3x3, if you've only got a couple quantum boards and you want to space them out better, it's definitely a good option. And if you decide that you want to add another board for a total of three, then obviously that's even better. You get some really nice even coverage with solid output in a 3x3 three three with three of these boards. So you can start with two and then maybe add a third or just start with three either way. This thing will do well in a three foot space. What you're seeing here is the Slate 2, if you remember from my last videos. This thing is also rated for a 3x3 three three flowering footprint. And what I wanted to do was take this thing, put it up, take some measurements at 18 inches and 24 inches, and then compare that to this new Slate 3 triple heatsink, both in the two board configuration, so one QB288 uh, on either side, and the three board configuration with the whole thing filled up, and see what PPFD is like across a 3x3 space with each of these three different configurations. For this test, I had no reflective material, so these numbers are bound to improve, especially around the edges if you're to use a tent instead of just having open air. And my test current for every one of these scenarios was 2000 milliamps. Let's start by looking at the Slate 3 triple, both with three boards and with two boards, with 24 inches from the board to the sensor. On the left, you'll see the triple with three boards, so we're talking fully loaded the whole enchilada, and these are really solid numbers for 24 inches with no reflective material. So starting with 600 micromoles per meter squared per second right dead center, and then working out to about 400 or so at the edge of the 3x3. So that's great, 400 to 600 running left to right, and then on the vertical, it's not bad either from 600 in the center out to just about 300, a little less than 300 micromoles in the center top and the center bottom. Okay, now let's have a look at the Slate 3 with just the two boards on the edges and missing the one in the middle. And surprisingly, it's it's pretty decent coverage on this one as well, as far as consistency goes. 350 micromoles in the middle, out to about the same at one foot and about the same at two feet, and then it drops off a little bit at three feet. So you see a reduction throughout the entire three by three by missing out on that board compared to the triple setup, but uh, still even coverage. So this isn't really ideal for flowering. That's a little bit on the low side, but luckily we can just drop the light from 24 inches to say 18 inches and then you're back in business and suddenly these numbers in the 300s are jumping back up into the 500s. All right, so just for shits and gigs, let's check out the Slate 3 triple with two boards against the Slate 2 with two boards at 24 inches. So the data for the Slate 3 triple with two boards is the exact same as the last slot I had up, but now we're going to compare it to the Slate 2 with two boards. And we see that the coverage is not quite as even for the Slate 2 with two boards, but it is a little bit hotter in the inside. I mean, in the one by one, it's in the 400s consistently compared to the Slate 3 triple, which is, you know, in the mid 300s. And then after that point, both of the boards are actually looking very similar, or both of the heat sinks, I should say, 
the numbers around the perimeter of a 3x3 three three are quite similar between the slate 2 with the two boards that are squished right up against one another compared to the slate 3 with the two that are spread out. And the similarities between the two actually kind of caught me off guard because I expected the slate 2 to be much higher in the middle than the slate 3 with the two boards and weaker around the edges, but it wasn't really the case actually. They were both very similar and then the slate 2 was actually a little bit strong in some areas around the perimeter. All right, let's go back to that first slide and we'll change up the distance from 24 inches to 18 inches. So again, we're looking at the slate through triple, both configurations, one with three boards, one with two. And in this case, I think the slate three with three boards is the way to go for a three by three. Look at this PPFD, 950 in the center, 900 at one foot, 750 at two feet, and 560 at three feet. And that's awesome, especially with no reflective material. So that's what I think is the way to go if you're doing a 3x3, three three, do a slate 3 triple. With the two boards, it's decent, it'll work. We're up in still in the 500 micromole area, but it's sort of at the bare minimum, right? You wouldn't want to go any lower than that. So if you want optimal, definitely add that third board. I think it's worth it. And finally, let's look at this slate 3 triple with two boards versus a slate 2 at 18 inches. And in this case, it's kind of a toss up. I mean, it depends what you want. With the Slate 2, the intensity is a little bit higher in that first two by two space. We're seeing, you know, 740 in the middle compared to 470. And then in the one by one, you know, 600s, 500s compared to 500s and 400s. But as you get out towards the edge of the three by three, the coverage on the Slate 3 is a little bit better you know we're talking 420 on one side at the end of it and 230 on the slate two so a couple hundred micromoles better on the edge of the three by three with the slate three triple however if you've got a tent and you've got walls up then that that's going to increase for both so it might actually be a little bit shy in the center with the slate three triple compared to that slate two in that case Anyway, that's going to about do it for this little look at the Slate 3 triple heatsink. As promised, I'm going to keep this video nice and short. We're under 10 minutes, which is fantastic. If you're looking for more info on these boards, go to www.horticulturelightinggroup.com. And don't forget to visit my blog at ledgardener.com. I've got all sorts of cool shit lined up. I've got some new quantum boards, some new heat sinks and drivers and cob stuff. You name it. Uh, thanks a lot to HLG for sending me this package with this stuff to test and experiment with and maybe blow some things up and share my results with the DIY community. And I am super pumped to get started. So stick around and we'll be seeing you soon with some more DIY LED content.